Hi, I'm Staff Sergeant Tom Mahofsky, and I play Euphonium in the United States Air Force Band of the Golden West. Today, I'll be doing a quick overview of lip slurs. If you're new to this, a lip slur is moving from one note to the next without using your tongue to articulate or without changing your vowels. To begin, I'll demonstrate by playing a middle F, slurring up to a B flat, and back down to the F. When practicing slur exercises, keep a steady stream of air throughout. I like to think about blowing air in between the notes to help achieve quick and smooth transitions. Also avoid any tension, especially moving in the upwards direction. Whenever we practice slurs, begin with an open valve combination and descend chromatically. Open, second valve, first valve, one and two, two and three, one and three, or four if you have a fourth valve, and one, two, and three, or two, four if you have that available. I'll quickly play an exercise that demonstrates these seven valve combinations. In the lower range, the intervals will be farther apart, and as you extend to the upper range, the intervals get closer together. and so on and so forth. So in addition to playing slurs smoothly and cleanly, we can also challenge ourselves by playing faster. Additionally, we can practice widening the interval by leaping over partials. There are numerous ways we can practice lip slurs, but first I strongly advise mastering these at a basic level before moving on to anything too ambitious. The last thing we want is to have a sense of recklessness in our playing. As I wrap this video up, I'll leave you with a few tips that have helped me and that should get you well on your way. The first, practice with a metronome. Even at the slower tempos, this will help you gain command over your slurs and your overall playing. Secondly, make sure you can hear the pitches and the intervals that you're about to play. The better you have it in your ear, the better it's going to sound when it comes out of your bell. There are plenty of resources you can use, but my favorites come from the Remington exercises and the violin book but there's certainly others available. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps improve your playing.